The playoff crowd at Rico Coliseum ready for their taste of Toronto Marley's postseason action. Game one. Gets it over Western. to Colburn off a stick deflection. Colbert to Bratton the trailer. He scores! Matt Bratton through the five hole gives the Marleys their first playoff Hamilton lead. down low. Finds him. Pulls it around. Scores! The first from the captain this series. Will tie the game at one. A power play goal gets Toronto on the board. Shot comes through. Scrivens is saved. They reach for it. No whistle blown. Time will expire. Tonight, history is in the making. Your Marlies have won the West. And Toronto is headed to the Calder Cup Championship. Game three is headed to overtime. A heartbreak finish in game three as... An awkward bounce ends up in the then empty net. It was kind of like the, the backbreaker for us, I think, in the series, and uh, it sucked a lot of life out of the team, and uh, especially with all the injuries we had. The Admirals know it. They're jumping on the bench and will count it down as a group. The Marlies will send it down, and the Admirals are Calder Cup champions. There's nothing in the way. There's nothing left to say There's just a perfect day For us to use There's nothing else to see No better place to be Now that you're here with me playoff run like that in an organization you can't replace the experience of it and it's one thing to say you need it and another thing to be able to get it because a lot of things have to go your way and you know we built the organization literally organically from the ground up and we've added key pieces and key character people in that locker room that have been absolutely instrumental and we don't know who will end up with the Marlies again next year but what an experience for some of these Toronto Marlies to get this far. And I know it doesn't sound good now, but this will go a long way in many a career in white jerseys as we, as we see them shake hands. It was a, it was a special group, I think. Like, uh, we had a lot of skill, a lot of uh, veteran leadership, uh, a lot of toughness. Uh, I think we had every facet of the game we had in our team, every, everything in the team or everything uh, that makes a team successful, we had in our team, and I think kind of kind of frustrating. But there's not much we can do about it now. It's just uh, we put it behind us, and uh, I think uh, that even motivates us more for uh, this year. Who everybody who was in, involved in this game last year is going to be more motivated to uh, prove that we can finish it off uh, the right way. You know, unfortunately, I stood at the other end three times and watched teams lift the Stanley Cup up painful experience and yet you grow from it you know six times I went to the final four in the playoffs never missed the playoffs in 13 years I think it I think it was um, the way they came together in the room more than anything that team just had one of those special feelings and I know I know that's vague and uh, maybe somewhat cliche when it comes to playoff time but I really believe the club last year um, just that club was meant to to win Things like that really magnify how fragile this is, this business, and how difficult it is to get to where you want to go. Things happen. Things out of your control happen, and I think we've professed to the players to control what you can control, and things that you can't control, you can't control. For me, it's it's the Will Actons, it's the Greg Scott, the Jerry D'Amigos, um, those type of players, the Corbinian Holzer, that have now seen what it takes in the grand scheme to get to a final, but have played through the day-to-day, -day, the every single day, what you need in practice, when how you need to prepare yourself, uh, what challenges may um, you, you face and what it takes to get through it. Welcome inside Rico Coliseum, everyone, as the Toronto Marlies conclude their regular season schedule versus the St. John's Ice Caps. For us, the guys who were there last year and we played all the way to, to the finals, uh, I think it's just uh, we have a job to do, a job to finish. We couldn't finish last year, and uh, 
we know what it takes to get that far, and we want to take that extra step to lift that cup at the end of the season. Dallas Aikens, his team are locked in a playoff position atop the North Division as well. They're waiting to find out who they play, and very tight at the bottom of the Western Conference. John Abbott, Bob McGill with you, and we're underway for game number 76 of the regular season. And it is an all-Canadian battle. 